Hi, I'm Kristen and this is Scrap Fabric Love. I recently bought on a whim <laughs> an AccuQuilt Go Big. Uh, I bought it on a Facebook D-Stash group. If you don't know what that is, I've got another video about nine ways to buy cheap fabric for quilting, which goes into that and a whole bunch of other ways. But anyway, it's not just fabric essentially in these groups and I ended up buying a go big. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that. I'm not sponsored by AccuQuilt. I am an affiliate, and if you wanna know what the difference is, stick around and I'm gonna explain it later in the video, but I figure you probably wanna to get to seeing <laughs> the machine and what it can do first. Uh, also near the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about how if you're in the States and you already have another uh, go cutter, you can get some money off buying a go big if you do it direct through AccuQuilt. So uh, stick around if you don't know about that. But anyway, uh, I know <laughs> I've said in previous videos, because I have a video about my AccuQuilt Go and also one about my dye collection. And I've said previously that I didn't think I needed the electric one <laughs> and that it was too expensive. And it still is expensive, but I am on in some of these groups. And so when things flash up, I sometimes get tempted with things. I like a bargain, it's an issue. Uh, so I have bought sewing machines and <laughs> other stuff on those groups, but this time it was the Go Big. Okay, so I previously used mostly the Go Cutter and I also have the, the Go Me, which is the, the little one, but I, don't, I honestly don't use that one all that much. So really the comparison uh, that I'm gonna talk about today, if you're thinking about which cutter to buy or you have the Go and you're thinking of the Go Big, um, is the difference between the, the AccuBook Go and the Go Big. <laughs> so there's three main differences. Uh, one is price two is size, and three is functionality. So I'm gonna go through those kind of in reverse order because the functionality bit's probably the most interesting. So first, functionality. So the Go, which I have, hang on. So here's the Go, which I have here, which as you can see, has a crank. So that's how you, I'll show you both of these in a second, but that's how you get the dies, which is how you cut the fabric through this machine. This one's electric, so you don't have the crank. You don't have to turn it by hand. So that is the main difference. So one thing that often confuses folk is that there are no blades in the cutters. <laughs> the cutters don't have blades. It's the dies. So this is a die, um, and whatever it is, if it's a strip or it's a shape or whatever, the blades are in the foam. So I can touch it here with my finger. It's not gonna cut me. Um, I think maybe the foam's stopping it. Maybe if I did it a certain way, you could cut yourself, but so don't go pressing on it. But <laughs> anyway, the blades are in here. And so you put your fabric on and you put a mat on. This mat is, is bigger than it needs to be, but, and then that sandwich gets pressed through whichever cutter you're using and the pressure of pressing it through cuts the fabric. So it kind of makes those blades work. So the blades are in the dies, which you, you buy separately. Uh, there's some bundles. I'll talk when I talk about the price. Uh, you'll see that sometimes you get dies when you buy a cutter, but usually you want to buy more. So keep that in mind as well. But uh, just for anyone who's not come across AccuQuilt before, uh, the cutters don't have the blades. The dies have the blades. All right. So this is the go, and you open it up, and you put the die here. So I've got one. Here, it's just stars. And then you put your fabric on and your mat on, and then you turn the crank. You'd be on the other side. <laughs> you turn the crank and you'd push it here and it would go through. I'll show you another comparison of that in a second. But anyway, so that's the go, right, the go big. Just like this. It's like this and we turn it on its side like that and then you just fold it open and plug it in where is my plug here it is and you press one button to turn it on okay and then we put the die on here fabric on top Right now I'm just putting a charm pack over a star shape and a cutting mat. This one's a little bigger 
them to die, but that's fine. And then we press, well, the press, sorry, I already pressed it to turn it on. So now all I gotta do is push it into here and it'll catch and it'll go itself. Now, the thing that's a bit weird is this. It's gonna drop. That might not be a problem. It's probably not a problem. I don't know that I'm injuring the die or the mat or anything like that. There's my star, which would be honestly difficult <laughs> to cut out myself like this, which is part of why I like these AccuCoat machines. Um, one of the key selling points for me is cutting out weird shapes for applique. Not weird, but you know what I mean? Difficult. Uh, anywho, so they are coming out later this year. It's 2024 as I record this with like an extension table to catch the dies. So some of this is a small one, but some of the dies, like the strip dies are large. And so if they come off and flop, like, I don't know, it's, I don't know that it would damage the die if it comes down, but you mentally, you feel like you have to catch it. <laughs> like that's how I feel. So anyway, here's my fix for that. Um, it's a board game. <laughs> It's a board game that we don't play very much. Um, so I put that there and then where's another, let's do another star here. Put that on there. And you can do up to six layers of fabric on the Go Big, just like with the Go Cutter. It's only the Studio Two, which is like the big one that you could do 10 layers, but that one still has a crank. So anyway, um, right. So do this again, my mat's not the right size and then push it up against it until it catches and then I don't have to touch so I could have another be prepping another mat here and then it'll come through and wait for it and it'll just sit there okay it kept going because my mat's longer than the die but anyway uh and so then I've just caught it with the board game so then we have another little star so that's cool the other thing with the go big is that there are more dies for it so you can buy bigger dies on the AccuQuote website with that I think so I got a mat with mine 14 by 16 inch mat I don't have a die that big but I mean that's what I think that's what will fit in here but if you have two of these smaller ones so here's a circle one and the star one so let's see I'll put Jump back on here for another star and over here for a circle. And then I'm gonna need two cutting mats. So one for there, there's what I was using here. One for here. And you can send them both through. Two at a time. And then they get caught on my little board game mat thing. <laughs> anyway, so then we've got the star and the circle. Right, obviously I'm not uh, I'm not cutting for a particular project right now. I'll just have these shapes. I'll figure out what to do with them later. I just wanted to show you. Anyway, so that's the key difference is one, you don't have to crank. So for it's, it's mainly, I think, for folks who have arthritis and where that motion is difficult. Um, but also there's some efficiency savings with it. So you can be prepping a couple of um, dies at once. So if I had the six layers of fabric on here, I would have 12 pieces of whatever it is I wanted. And then uh, while it's going through, I can be prepping another one to come on. So if you're just trying to cut really quickly for a quilt project, um, that's probably the benefit. I have to say, I wasn't sure that I needed it, didn't need it, nobody needs these things, but <laughs> anyways, but now that I have it, uh, I'm really glad I got it. And I'll probably be selling again in one of these Facebook d stash groups my go, uh, cause I can't see myself choosing to use that in place of this, uh, when, you know, when, when this is so easy. So, and it takes up space to go, right? So I do know that there's some people who keep the whole range and they use them for retreats or backups or whatever. But like, I still have little kids. 
I've not been ever been on a quilt retreat. I can't think that that's something I'm going to be doing on a regular basis soon, anytime soon. So if that becomes my life later, I can think about it then. Right now, I think I just want to pick the one I'm likely to use and stick with that. Um, but I'm going to talk about the difference in size because for me, it was about whether or not I could store all the ones <laughs> I had. So, so I'll show you the difference in size of the two cutters next. So here they both are. There's a handle here to carry this one and a handle here to carry this one. So this one's more kind of an up and down storage and this one's a little bit of a wider one. I'll put the actual measurements and weight up on the screen. This one is a bit heavier. I feel like, I don't know, I feel I when I'm picking them up, I wouldn't be able to tell. This feels heavier and obviously the way it's, I don't know, maybe I'm more used to pick up a suitcase like this or something, I'm not sure. Anyway, and then when it's open, hang on. So you tip it like that and then open it like that. So that's this one open. And then this one open is like that. So this is bigger laying flat, but this catches the die, right? So that it just goes through one side, crank it, and then I'll just do it for you. So you can see the difference in case you've never seen how this one works. Um, all right, so I've got my die, my fabric, my mat. I push it underneath this bar and then I turn. I always get confused which way, this way. And you don't have to push it that much. So it's basically just the sitting here and the turning. The turning is harder, the more layers you have. Not difficult, difficult, but harder. Okay, so then it just flies here. So here, in theory, you would push this here and have the, so you still probably need the, uh, pretty much the same table space, except that this one's wider. So this is narrower. So if you're thinking about your cutting table, um, that would be another difference, another star. But all in all, I don't think it's a huge difference in terms of having it on the table or storing it. So, but I don't want to store two of them. <laughs> so, so I'm going to keep this, this one. Okay, price difference. This is where there's a big difference, right? So on the American website, the Go Big is $629. Wow. <laughs> and it comes with flying geese dye and a mat. There is a way though, if you already have this one, to get this cheaper. So I'll tell you about that in a second. But this one is 329 on the American website. And I think it probably also comes with a die. They're usually like sold in a set with a little, with a starter die or two or something. Uh, and those always change. So well, not always, but they change fairly frequently. So just, there's a link in the description for all, everything that I'm talking about. So you go click on that and then see what the latest bundle is basically. Now, the kicker for me, I know I sound American, but I'm Canadian and I live in the United Kingdom. So uh, the kicker for me with AccuQuilt is the UK distributor here, Quilt Direct, uh, it's very expensive. So I know, I guess they've got to pay to, to um, ship the stuff over or buy so much, I don't really know. But uh, the price of the Go Big on the UK website, 630 pounds. Like there's an exchange rate. <laughs> so it's not even the equivalent pounds, you know, versus American, like, right. So if you converted 629 American to Great British pounds today, uh, with today's conversion rate, you would get 504 pound 95. So, and on the, as I said, on the UK distributor website, it's 630 pounds. So it's crazy expensive. It probably still comes with a die and a mat or whatever, but like I was, there was no way I was ever gonna buy it at that price because I didn't even know, I'd never even tried one. So I didn't even know if I liked it. Anyway, I was on Facebook as you do, and there was a listing for a secondhand Go Big. And it came with the flying geese die, the mat, and a two and a half inch strip die, and that great big 14 by 16 inch um, mat. So I will show you, I'll show you the unboxing of this in a second um, for my secondhand purchase. But basically all of that was 350 pounds and she was including the postage within the UK. So even though I didn't know I needed it, I jumped on it because <laughs> compared to how much I, it would cost me to buy it new here, 
I thought it was a pretty good deal. I also had a two and a half inch die uh, that I've used loads and loads and loads previously. And the foam was starting to come off I'm up on one of the corners. I'll show you a picture, which happens sometimes, probably because I don't store them brilliantly or I bash them around, whatever. And I probably could have just glued that foam down. I was basically just still using it. There was nothing like, it wasn't stopping me being able to use the die. But anyhow, because she sent me a new one or a better condition one, I've, I've since sold that one on eBay. So I sold that for 50 pounds. So in my head, I've paid 300 <laughs> for the bundle. Um, that's how I'm justifying it to myself. Anyway, so I'll show you the unboxing of my second hand purchase. And then I'll tell you uh, another way, if you're in the States, not in the UK that I know of, uh, if you're in the States, how you can get some money off if you want to upgrade the same way I did from the go to the go big. Okay. So the nice lady I bought it from had the cool idea to package it in one of these fabric storage bags. Um, so the label was right on the outside and then a, a zipper was kind of taped shut. Anyway, I thought it was cool. <laughs> so the package came with all the leaflets you normally get from AccuQuilt, these two mats and um, the dust cover and the, that's the flying geese die I was talking about. Uh, and of course the, the go cutter <laughs> and the cable and also the two and a half inch strip die. So that's all that was in the box. Now, obviously I've talked about making these big purchases from, in this case, a fabric de-stash group on Facebook. Uh, when I make these purchases, I always pay by PayPal and I always click the goods and services tab. So if it doesn't arrive, you can go through PayPal to get a refund just to be safe. So in the States on the AccuQuilt website, they take trade-ins. I wish I lived there. <laughs> um, anyways. So I'll, sh I'll show you on the screen where you go, but basically you go to devices and then there's a little tab above the different cutters and it says trade in and you can click that and there's a process. And apparently, I've obviously never done it myself, but apparently AccuQuilt plays the FedEx courier charge. If you return your Go Cutter, you'll get $200 off of the Go Big. So I'm in another AccuQuilt Facebook group and some of the folk on there were talking, they'd done the whole trade-in thing. And so this turned out to be 400 American after the trade-in with the bundle. So they still get the die and the mat and all of that. So I thought that was more reasonable. It's still a lot, but you know, we do spend a lot on our hobby. I'm really bad for that. <laughs> I know some of you guys are too. It's still expensive, which uh, as I've said in my previous review, the Go Cutter is the main downside of the whole thing. Like the dies can get expensive. The cutters can get expensive, but for the amount I use them, I honestly, for me, it's worth it. If you weren't gonna use them that much, then it, it wouldn't be obviously, but uh, I use them primarily for, the one I use the most definitely is the two and a half inch strip die. So I would do that for cutting binding. And then I also use a lot sort of squares. So I've got like a four and a half inch one, which I use pretty frequently. And then the alphabet die I love because if I'm doing like um, reading pillows or gifts for kids or something like that, it's so easy to just cut out the lettering for that. Uh, then the the main thing that makes me love the whole AccuQuilt thing in general is that I can cut out shapes that would be really quite fiddly to do with a template and a rotary cutter and whatever, like a hexagon, a circle, a star. I've got a die that does this coffee cup shape. I've got um, Christmas die, my Quiltmas uh, quilt from last year. I used uh, an AccuQuilt die that had like holly leaves and berries. And that die also came with like a Christmas tree and a snowflake. All of these things that frankly, I wouldn't bother cutting out if I had to do it by hand. And then also, if you've watched the channel before, you know I'm not great at measuring or cutting in general. So uh, if I'm going to use like a mat and a, as in a cutting mat and my rotary cutter and everything, you know, I'll be, t I'll tend to slip or I'll measure it a bit wrong or whatever. So I like that it takes a bit away, away, you know, a bit of the human error. There are still things you can do wrong with it, but uh, it takes away some of that human error. So I said at the beginning of the video that I am an AccuQuilt affiliate but this post is not sponsored. So let me explain what that means in case you're not sure. And this will apply to other videos you watch as well. But so basically a sponsored post or a sponsored video or you know Instagram post or whatever is something where the company 
uh, has paid the content creator to create that item of content. So if it's a video or a blog post or a, uh, an Instagram post or whatever. And usually, but not always, they would also get the product for free, so they wouldn't have bought it themselves. Now, plenty of, plenty of folk who do do sponsored posts will only do them for products that they really like. So I'm not saying that those uh, are any more or less biased. They'll have their own filter system, but that's what a sponsored post is. So the company is paying you and they might have certain requirements of things they want either mentioned or shown or whatever in a video or a, or a blog post. Now, an affiliate, so a lot of places, not everywhere, but some big companies like AccuQuilt have an affiliate program. So without making it too complicated, there's kind of a, a larger website that you're part of and then you can choose on there who you want to apply to be an affiliate for. So I obviously only ask to be an affiliate for the products that I use uh, and that I like. And so one of the ones I asked to be an affiliate for was AccuQuote. And I don't know what their screening process is. I don't know whether a real live person looks at your website or your YouTube channel or they don't, I'm not sure. Um, but it's usually, you know, a day or two and then you get a yes or no. And so uh, a couple of years ago, I became an AccuQuote affiliate. Uh, so all that means is that if you like this video and if it's giving you information you needed and it's helped you make a decision about buying uh, an AccuQuilt product and you're going to buy it on their website anyway, obviously if you're going to buy it on eBay or secondhand, that's different. You can't, <laughs> you can't, the link's not going to help you, but uh, if you're going to buy it from their website anyway, then it would help me if you use the link in the description. The products won't cost uh, any different to you. It won't be more expensive and it, and I don't have a discount code for you. So because I'm not a sponsored, I'm not real. They don't really know who I am. I'm not, uh, I'm not really, although I'm an affiliate, I'm not affiliated with them, if that makes sense. Um, so I don't have a discount code I can give you or anything like that. However, if you click on that link and you then buy something, I will get a small sort of referral fee which is what the links are for. And that helps me keep running the channel and making more videos. So if you are someone who's watched lots of videos and you've subscribed for a while and you're gonna buy on the back of this video, I would super appreciate it if you would use the link in the description, but you know, if you don't, you don't. So uh, I just wanted to clear up the difference. All my opinions on the AccuQuilt products are my own and I've bought every single one of my AccuQuilt cutters and dyes and all of that myself. I haven't got anything free from AccuQuote. So anyway, that's my disclaimer and my <laughs> explanation. So uh, if you're interested in uh, the Go Big, I hope this video helped you understand the difference. Um, and do feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. If I can answer it, I will. So I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll consider it. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks so much for spending time with me. Bye.